Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Fortnite training versus Fortnite training for freedom fighters versus U.S. military training for freedom fighters, specifically because there's been a massive, incredibly important change in Fortnite, uh, which speaks directly to what I've been talking about for a week. All right. So first of all, let me address the, the elephant in the room. I've been doing videos saying that the value of Fortnite uh, of Fortnite training for being a freedom fighter today in the modern world is significantly higher, massively higher than the than US military training to be a freedom fighter in the world today. Okay? So right now, if you want to fight for freedom for the world, right? Vladimir Putin is threatening the freedom of every single sovereign nation on the planet, right? Like and you know and, and like the Hill is openly talking about World War III and asking, why didn't uh, Vla- Volodymyr Zelensky um, just surrender Maripol so that we can all feel safer? Like, I'm like, are you literally op- opening, qu- openly questioning why a sovereign nation isn't just surrendering cities to a clear global villain? Like, the, the stuff you're seeing right now is shocking, right? Like, it's, it's shocking, right? So here's the issue, right? People are like, Scott, how can you how can you talk, say that Fortnite training is more valuable than U.S. military training? I'm not saying, okay, you guys need to understand this. I'm not saying what should be. I'm saying what is. I'm, ex- I'm acknowledging the reality of our time, okay? If you are a Fortnite-trained freedom fighter in the United States of America, you can go fight humanity's greatest villain tomorrow. Tomorrow. You can have... An AR in hand, and you could do you could do your you could do the job, right? You can help save the world, right? If you are a U.S. military trained U.S. soldier, you can do nothing to help save the world because your commander in chief, your willingness is there, your capability has been set to zero. A Fortnite tra- a Fortnite trained freedom fighter in America today. Which we there are many of them that have already that I shouldn't say many. There's a number of them that have already made their way over there, right? Like, uh, basically, if you're a Fortnite trained, you are willing and capable. That stuff. I'm not saying this is the way it should be. I'm not saying we should live in a world where Fortnite training is more valuable than U.S. military training. But I'm saying we have found ourselves in this world. Okay. If you need, like, right now, the whole world needs very brave, noble, trained fighters to end Vladimir Putin's reign of terror, right? And if you're a U.S. military soldier, you cannot do that at any level right now. Your ability to stop Vladimir Putin is set by President Joseph Biden, who is the the, the commander-in-chief, and he has set every U.S. military soldier to zero. They can do nothing to stop Vladimir Putin. But a Fortnite trained freedom fighter can get, can grab their passport, get on a plane, and be literally kinetic activity tomorrow. That is real, right? That's real, okay? And this is the, I'm not saying this is the world we should live in. I'm saying this is the world we are living in. I'm simply acknowledging it. I'm not like co signing it and celebrating it. I'm saying this is where we've landed. All right, now. Let's go to the next one. People are like saying, Scott, this is ridiculous, right? How can you say that Fortnite training is equal to a U.S. military training? Or how can you say that it rivals U.S. military training? I want to explain something to you, okay? I play Fortnite, right? And there's a massive change that dropped on March 20th. A massive change in Fortnite. And I want you, I want you to listen to the words I'm telling you. And I want you to think if this is a coincidence, all right? Just think about it, all right? So February 24th, Vladimir Putin invades Ukraine and shortly after threatens the world with NW arcs if anyone tries to stop his villainy in Ukraine, okay? Essentially, putting the entire earth on the cliff of an Archduke Ferdinand situation, right? That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Okay, all right. So February twenty fourth, Vladimir Putin puts the world on the edge of the art of a new Archduke Ferdinand situation. Okay, all right. March twentieth, Fortnite ends 
their old Battle Pass. Right? Battle Pass is a special program in Fortnite. You sign up for it. It costs eight dollars, right? And you get all the new functionality in Fortnite. The vast majority of um, many, many, many uh, Fortnite players play battle play Battle Pass, and it it lasts a season. Okay, last season, right? The, the goal of the Battle Pass was to receive a character, which was Spider-Man, okay? And, and that entire season had two outlandish... Uh, first of all, Fortnite has every single weapon, right, the U.S. military uses generally with very few exceptions, right? Especially when it comes to, um, to mechanical projectile weapons. It literally had, you know, it models all modern... Um, mechanical projectile weapons, all right? And ha- and shows how a freedom fighter would use it. Okay? All right. In the last battle pass that that was that ended on March 19th, okay? Just just want to just want you to hear this, all right? Listen carefully, right? There there were two things that were incredibly outlandish in Fortnite. One was building and two was web shooters because Spider-Man was the main character right, for the battle pass that you would earn, there were web shooters in the game, and you could find web shooters all over the map, and then you could swing, like Spider-Man, all over the map, and move very, very quickly across the battle map, okay, across this island that is where all the battles on Fortnite happen. The other thing you could do is you could build, right, you could hit a button, and then you could build a house, this is not a joke, you could hit build a house in two seconds, you would build four walls around yourself and, and put a ceiling on the top, right? Building was a part of the game. These two outlandish aspects were completely different than any modern freedom fighter would ever use. There are no modern freedom fighters, modern freedom fighters that can build a house around themselves in two seconds. And there are no modern freedom fighters that use web shooters, right? Like, and can swing like Spider-Man across the battlefield. Doesn't, doesn't exist, right? On March 20th, this is not a joke. I want you to listen carefully. Fortnite dropped the new battle map. You know what it has in it? It has tanks in it. It has tanks in it. That is the new introduced uh, ordinance in the new Fortnite March 20th battle pass that will last for at least three months. Okay? Get this. The tanks teach every player two things. How to drive a tank and move the tracks of the tank um, separately from the turret of the tank, how to target uh, opponents, and teaches them exactly how when you hit, right, you don't need to have a direct hit on an opponent. You can hit 5, 10 feet away and take the opponent out. That's what it teaches. It teaches people how to drive tanks, use the turret independently, and how to hit ta- how to hit targets with indirect hits, right? And get this. You know what it else teaches you? how one person can kill a tank that is the main focus of the new of the new Fortnite battle pass that's what they added guess what they took out they took out all building and they took out all web shooters so now in Fortnite when you are playing as Ariana Grande uh, when you are playing as Batman when you are playing as Naruto when you are playing as any number of you know other very unusual uh, as Groot, right? When you are playing as those characters, you are bound to the earth and you literally have the same physical capabilities and no extras that a normal global freedom fighter would have. (laughs) So February 24th, Vladimir Putin puts the world on the edge of the brand new Archduke Ferdinand situation March 20th, Fortnite puts tanks into the game and removes anything that does not match the current modern freedom fighter. That's what I'm telling you. Pay attention. Pay attention. The world is changing. You think it's outlandish that Fortnite training would rival U.S. military training. We live in a world where a long string of numbers is 20 times more valuable than an actual American Eagle gold one ounce coin. We are in upside down world. And if you think that Fortnite training 
is a rival to U.S. If you think that Fortnite training is not a rival to U.S. military training, and that if you actually want to actually do some freedom fighting today, you better be Fortnite trained and not U.S. military trained, because one can go and help tomorrow, and one can do nothing tomorrow, then you're not paying attention. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.